let's take a quick look at absolute value. So absolute value is simply the distance between a number and zero. So I've got this number line set up for us, right? And it's showing us two different points. We've got the point negative three and the point positive three. Now you'll notice both of these numbers are three units away from zero, right? Negative three is three units away from zero and positive three is three units away from zero. So both of these numbers have the same absolute value. The absolute value of negative three written like this here is equal to three and the absolute value of positive three is equal to three. So we can show the absolute value for any number, right? We'll write with these vertical lines like this. So the absolute value for negative five would be equal to five. So you'll notice, right? Even without graphing, you can figure out pretty quickly the absolute value for any number is simply that number without any sign attached. So the absolute value of positive seven or just simply seven is seven. The absolute value of negative 83 is 83. And this is the absolute value. Now, if we wanted to compare or order values, for example, if we wanted to compare two and the absolute value of negative five, right, which is greater, two or the absolute value of negative five, well, we know that the absolute value of negative five would be five, so we're comparing two and five, and we know that two is less than five. If we wanted to compare the absolute value of 3.5 and negative one, well, the absolute value of 3.5 is 3.5. So we're comparing 3.5 and negative one. And we know that a positive number is always greater than a negative number. And that is a very quick look at absolute value.